good day. Tamers. So, quick news for this week. Not too much information here. Uh, I think we had the breakdown of what was going to be happening in BT17. Not even so sure, so just here for now. But same as usual, 40 commons, 26 uncommons, 22 rares, 12 SRs, 2 secrets, and as we know from now on, SPs is essentially a low chance rarity of a certain card. Uh, if you've not seen current ones, um, spoilers, you'll see them towards the end of the, the video, so maybe uh, maybe back out if you don't want to don't be sport for them, in case you want to pull your own in your 12 cases you've got to buy, probably the poor one. Um, and then yeah. Yuden, if you're a Saikuden fan, he's coming out next year. If you haven't brought the Rising, there you go. A little advertisement for them because we're all our GP fans here, right? So, let's have a quick look at what's going on in the news this week. Uh, Bandai will be hosting their next Bandai card game latest information live stream on January 19th, 2024. Great uh, first thing for next year, I suppose. But we didn't get an announcement for what's going on in December. This was technically the announcement that we meant to get in December that was announcing that we're going to get something in January. Sure. Ben has released a comprehensive rules manual for English. Link below. It's actually really good if you want like a really in-depth guide of how to uh, go through ruling processes and everything. It's right there. If you're looking to be a judge, it might help you uh, understand like the processes of how like things should rule out. It uh, uses it like a, a, a basic like knowledge guide. Uh, so yeah, but he says here shortly afterwards uh, there are some actual translation errors, but. Hopefully they'll get worked out at some point if they haven't already. I'm sure you see the news. We are getting a Japanese and an English update to the bands and restrictions this coming Monday. And this will be recorded on the Friday. So for you guys out there, good time for Monday. Um, if you're in Japan, welcome. Your list will go into effect on January 5th, which I think is a Sunday. I think, no, a Friday. Um, I'm not sure why, because you won't necessarily be having to do much about this unless you're practicing four worlds, which is cool, I guess. Uh, and then the English list will drop on March 1st, which again would be the list that we're going to use for Mar for worlds in March. So essentially, if you are playing in the nationals in America or Australia, well, OC, 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 Oceana, it's probably best to make a list for the event and then look at a list for worlds and just start practicing. Just go, go, go. Like, get as much time as you can. This is probably going to see a lot of people that are going to be, like, too, like, focused just straight into Nats. But at the same time, you need to look at, like, what decks you can essentially have three months of gameplay with. Promo cards for the double pack set DP02 has been revealed. Uh, these are alternate arts from the LM01 set that came out earlier this year for Japan. That's getting crammed into our... BT15, it's going to be an absolute pain. But for those of you who want the alternate arts, they are coming at some point in the near future. Um, I don't really know if these guys get used to much fair, but I think he gets used to. I think you like have like a one-off in here. So, you know, things to do. Uh, the other cards will be listed here. The only thing that got in Rata was Mr. Uh, Mr. Baku, Mr. Bakuman. Uh, so, yeah, he's now says the same as he does in Japan. That uh, to get gemming, you have to have more than sources because your opponent has the same as or more of you can't get jamming and then here we go looking at the super special sony things so the cards will be gaining i wish, I wish i'd always make this bigger i'm gonna make it smaller um we will be having the alter arts they look absolutely amazing they remind me of the all slick arts that uh, magic had last year or very beginning of this year for the much of the machines i think it was which is the phyrexian stuff but yeah it looks really nice it's really cool um, all the aces got them Obviously, we only had four aces in this set. In this set. But yeah, they look really nice. Um, poor rates are probably going to be super low. Hopefully, we get them as well. We should do. I feel like SPs, after obviously got our own like English variants, we should get them continuously carrying on from now on. So, you know, these look interesting. Uh, personally speaking, the only one I really like the, the most, they all look okay. Well, they all look good. But I like Valkyrie the best. And then... Oh, boy. Yeah, so we got... Uh, Free arts for the beautiful looking Magna X. Hide your girl, hide your man, he comes to steal them all. And the yeah, Paladin mode. But I'm a massive fan of this. If you've noticed the, the market for this, it's basically you know, like 100 quid now. It's like 120. It's not a great card, and it's okay. 
and we're getting a better Paladin mode, presumably in BT17 anyway, so. <sighs> and then, box toppers! You get the babies in a lovely shade of foiling. Uh, these are quite nice, actually, to be fair. A lot of these are done in quite a nice way. I do like these four specifically because they're all done in, in like, you know, stylish backgrounds. I've got like a very artistic view, you know, we're in, we're in the forest, you know, we're going through the catacombs, we're going through the desert. This one's actually okay because it's, you know, it's cybering around the uh, the town's, you know, back alleyways. And then Cupid Purple's just doing whatever Cupid Purple's doing. But yeah, just a quick one today. Uh, news dump is here, it's been, it's gone. And hopefully you guys had a great time. Not much to talk about now until the, until Monday. So I'll probably see you guys on Monday for more proper videos and then a short over the weekend. So I love you all. Speak soon. Bye-bye for now.